Hi, I'm Matthew Jeffrey. I'm the uh, Global Head of Talent Brand for Electronic Arts. Um, I'm out down here this week for the uh, Swansea Animation Day, SAND, and uh, I've just given a, a talk on Mum, Dad, I Want to Be a Game Designer. Okay, so everyone probably knows the, the brand EA. It's all over the television on the adverts and, and things like that, especially in the run-up to Christmas with all the new game, games coming out. Yep. Uh, so, are you here just to sort of guide people if they want to become a game designer and work on those new generations of games? The key for us is that there's a lot of very passionate graduates and students here today who are considering their career options. Uh, and for companies like Electronic Arts and Sony and MPC in film, it's for us to come down and present to the students and give them those career options. For us, it's about inspiring them that there are great challenges about working in games or working in film and uh, hopefully that they walk away inspired and motivated enough to continue with their studies with an end goal to make a difference. Mm, okay, so when people think about animation, they, they might think of you know, Wallace and Gromit or yep. Fire and Sam or you know, rather than actual games that you play on an Xbox or a, a Wii or whatever, really. So what's the, what's the fundamental difference? I mean, I know it's a very broad spectrum thing, but, but tell us a little bit more about it. So the key for us is that when you look at film, obviously you're watching a linear experience, the film director controls the roller coaster of emotions about what you see on the screen. In gaming, it's for us is that we give the player the control. You're interacting with the character, controlling the animation of that character on screen. So there's lots of ways that you're really immersing the player into the game's world, be that through the story, be that through the graphics, be that through the sort of the emotionally believable characters we're creating. Or simple things like the control mechanism, and obviously we've seen with the Nintendo Wii, is uh, with the great control that you have there in games like Wii Fit, you're really getting that player involved and interacting into the game's world. Okay, so is, th is there really a constant strive to make the games more realistic, but to have the characters looking more human, you know, in inverted commas? Uh, is that really the way forward? Is that what people who should want to be in, in gaming animation want to strive for as well? So what we're trying to encourage people is to create emotionally believable characters. And what we mean by that is that you will suspend your disbelief and believe in that character. When you look at films like Finding Nemo or Cars, is that obviously you're never going to see a talk, talking car or a talking fish, but because you emotionally believe in those characters, you'll suspend your disbelief and enjoy the ride that you go on. The same with games, whether they're photorealistic uh, games like FIFA, when you can actually see a Ronaldo on screen and realise that he's actually very true to life of what Ronaldo's like, or whether you look at sort of more stylized Disney or cartoon-like sort of graphics, is again that you emotionally believe in whatever direction that you're going in. But key is having great gameplay and having fun on screen. Okay, so for everyone who's looking at this interview on our website, this is swansea.co.uk, um, who aren't actually in Swansea and haven't had the benefit of, of your lecture to the students here today, what would you be looking for in uh, gaming designers of the future and, and what steps should they take to actually become one? So the key thing, the, the theme of the, the lecture today was that you can come from a, a whole range of different areas. Maybe that you're already in games and you've worked in QA or games testing. Maybe you're a student studying now. Is that there's no set route to being a game designer. Um, again, if you're looking like a programmer, is that generally you'd expect peer, people to have strong math skills and strong programming skills, and we can put them through a test to test that ability. An artist, again, we can see a great showreel and look at the level of animation or character modelling. In game design, it's very different in terms of, again, we look at those people that could be creating content on games like Spore and creating characters there. They may be creating lives and uh, creating levels on Little Big Planet. So we're looking at the different ways that gamers can interact and show us their thinking. Uh, a student can show us from a game design document how they would create a game, its theme, whether it has an a X factor, i.e. what will make this game different and make people go out and actually spend their money on it. We can see the sort of what the student's thinking is. So again, is that the key is it's a very natural skill to be creative, and that's what we're looking for from the students or whoever's applying to be a game designer. Okay, we're well, talking a little bit about going out and spending money on games. What, what do we have to look out for um, this Christmas from EA? So, I mean, there's some great original titles out there, like Dead Space, um, which has come out from our Redwood Shores studio, which is a survival horror in space. Mirror's Edge, which is a sort of first-person running and escape game. Obviously, the traditional games like FIFA, 
um, are out selling very well and I think it's our best version of football or soccer or whatever you want to call it which has come out in recent times there's sort of EA Partners games where we've partnered with the likes of Valve with Left 4 Dead which is out in the marketplace so there's lots of great games coming out from EA and uh, key for us is that people have fun and entertainment in these sort of difficult financial times where there's a lot of doom and gloom and entertainment is the highest order. Brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much, Mr. Jeffrey, for, for speaking to us today. Brilliant.